Oh, look at the storm. You want to show the storm? Oh, it's coming. Let's show the storm real quick. Yeah. It's about to hit. Wow. That's pretty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Man. All right. Q&A time. How big is this house? It looks like an eight-footer. Yeah, I think it's an eight by 26 or something. No. Well, maybe not. You'll you know. know. Boy, it's pretty, though. I like the, um, the oh, LP it's siding. Beautiful. Yeah, the LP. All right, Ace, you ready, buddy? Let's go inside. Check this out. We got to get set up. Now, this is on, is this butternut? What's it say? Red cedar. Okay, red cedar. Butternut red cedar. Okay. Yep. Oh, now this is a craftsman. It's got the fenders. See the fenders there? That totally shows it's a craftsman because it's got a fender. The house is set down about 10 or 12 inches below normal. Okay. Is there a key to this thing? It should be open. We're God, hoping it's so. open. We couldn't find the keys inside, so. And then, of course, you got your egress window. You got a picture window above there. I don't know the floor plan on this thing, but the tongue box. This is what we normally built. I bet we built 700 of these things. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Isn't that something? All right. Let's see if it's open. It sure is. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, man. I wanted to see this one. Look oh, at this. Look at her place. This is beautiful. Wow, is this not pretty? Yeah. Oh, wow. Man. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I mean, we're talking underneath there, you got your litter, your cat door to go inside there. David had been doing, um, the guys have been doing some work in here and stuff. And I said, well, I would like to, uh, before she gets here, I'd like to go through her house. Man, I love this thing. Oh, it's pretty. I wonder where the AC is. <clears throat> uh -huh. Hmm. You got the lights on. Yep, I'm going to turn the fan on. That's good. I'll start looking for it. Here's AC. Wow, look at all these windows. There it goes. There goes the AC. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Like this horseshoe uh, kind of um, sofa. Wow, that is super nice. Well, and it's got storage. So this flips up as a bed, right? Oh. Like that. Wow. Isn't that crazy? So you got a big bed there, and then this is all storage here. Oh, wow. Storage, storage, storage all over this thing. So I remember Rob. Rob. Okay, Rob oh, yeah. this. Okay. Remember Rob building this thing. Let's go back here. Wow. The only thing is here is you have to get completely underneath there to make that go down. Do you? Yeah, because you got two arms, you know. Oh no. Watch, watch, I'm gonna get hurt, Amanda. Look, I'm gonna have to hang on my back. There we go. Oh, we got to do something that looks bad. Yeah, it just keeps you limber. Does it? And then you got this underneath oh here. Oh my goodness, let me see how much storage that is. God, I'll show you. Jeez. Look here. Gone. Oh my God. I mean, you can put a human in here. Wow. Is that what you call me, a human? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> wow. God. So man. what is this on the windows? Did she put a film or they put a film on Yeah, they got car? a film right here. Oh, okay. Something that is not on there. No. Uh -uh. So maybe they, Rob maybe used like to do this. Yeah. Okay. Wowza. You know, it's been 90 all day. Yes. It's not bad in here. I mean, at it's all. not like an oven in here. No, it's you know? not. It is not bad at all. That's crazy. And I'm not sure exactly when she's moving in, um, but I know they were working on it and getting it set up. 
there's so much to show. I so, know we're doing Q and A, but we got to show this house. Look, look at this. I want this. This is a rough cut beam Beautiful. from a barn. Mm -hmm. All right, come back, come back here on this side. Okay. So we pegged it. Yes. I love pegging. I told them guys before. Remember how I wanted them to peg everything we well, did. We did it over at Inca for a it's while. So strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they pegged it over here. And they put bolts in it too. I bet they didn't. They didn't trust their pegging. They I love probably them. Probably didn't. I love the pegs. Beautiful, because they're wooden pegs. Yeah, and then under. Start. Well, we've already done the living room or dining room area. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your. This is a place for a cat litter box mm -hmm. underneath there, and then storage. And of course, you got all this right here. I mean, we're talking. This is a super custom home. Yes. Look, Amanda. My God, unbelievable. Yep. yep. I love, let me tell you something. I love building these homes. This is, this is fun to build. All of us like building these homes as carpenters. What's hard to do is when a customer designs it, it's so hard to accommodate their design. Yes. Because when they design things, it's so hard to take what they want, even though we can do a blueprint and make it work here. Mm -hmm. If it's something we design, like we say, hey, if you want this kind of thing, we'll let us make this work. That's what's fun is we get to have some imagination with that. But when you've got somebody who says, hey, I don't want that wall solid. I want that solid. I want this here. I want this type of pickets. It gets so custom. And that's what really slows. Yes. And it makes the process not enjoyable as the guys, not you know, but we love building these things. Um, I can already feel, if we could turn that fan on, I can already feel the AC. Oh yeah, I can feel it right here. Yeah. Let's see. There, there you we go. go, yeah. And probably turn the light on, yeah. Perfect. Yep, this is this light. Yeah, let's turn the light so on. So down here would be the fridge. Yep. Yep, and we got a drawer under the fridge. This is typical, um, mm -hmm. 60 inches high for a 10 cubic inch fridge. Yep, okay. Here's your stove top, range hood, covered here to hang it which is very rare. We really don't do a lot of um, upper cabinets. Look at her custom knobs. Maybe she's already been here. This is beautiful. She may have already been here, been working on it or something. Okay. Soft close. There you go, buddy. Oh, don't touch the this. Yep. And then... Well, let me show the side of this because that's just because there's a upper cabinets. Yeah. Look at that tile. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. You know what this tile is? It's a stickers. That's not real tile. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's stickers. That looks you like tile. Tell. You can't tell. That's cool. Wow. Good job. That's a good fake out. I love that. Fake out, oh, man. Look at this door. That door is very pretty. Yep. Matches so well. Wow. Yeah, and just putting a couple little beams. I had to sand this down, knock off a lot of the, the rough cut on it. Makes it look better. Beautiful. Here's... Okay. You place to put your soap powders and stuff mm -hmm. in here. You got a place for your washer and dryer. Let's see, where's the light switch? Here it is. Did you see his bathroom? No, I've not been in this house. Oh my goodness. I'm going to set this right and here. And here's a little closet. Because it does have the fenders, right? Yeah, that's the fender right there. Yeah, yeah. okay. Look at oh. that shower. <gasps> what? Yes. What? <laughs> oh my God. I love it, man. Look. Tell me Will's not been here. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Will. OMG, Will. Beautiful. Oh my God. This is so gorgeous. I mean, we can get, I love you blue get, anyway. You can get a couple, three people in here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, no. This is gorgeous. Isn't this awesome? I love this blue. How pretty. Look I at bet the you stone. could have no shower door on there. I mean, oh need my one. gosh. No, probably don't. Wow. Plenty of room this out is cool. here. Wow. She's got a sink. Yep. See, your room. This is a beautiful bathroom. Closet right by mm -hmm. you. Yeah, let me do <clears> it right <throat> here. She's got a window. There's her neighbors. Yeah, everything. Window. Look at this closet. What's sliding glass? Sl sliding glass. Sliding doors. Holy cow. I'm not even. Wow, this is wow. awesome. Wow. 
what beautiful. And then there's a full upstairs too. Oh my gosh. Wash and dryer stuff goes there. Okay. Man, go up, you got a upstairs, two balconies, or two lofts, and look at the balcony here. Let me get barefoot. Oh. Look, there's her view. Look at, the, oh, there's the Incredibox box yeah. over here, <laughs> our model. Through the trees. See the rough cut theme that follows it throughout? <laughs> yes. With the beams, yep. And it's got a sprinkler system. <laughs> Now, Mandy, up there, you've got about about 52 inches of headroom. 52 inches? Yeah, from floor to ceiling. Maybe, maybe a little bit more so in right the center. Here. Yep. Now, you're standing up right there, and then you... Yeah. yeah. I'm standing straight up right here. Yeah. So, right here. So, we always leave about a 20-inch... This is a little bit more, but a 20-inch right here so you can actually stand straight up. I'm standing straight up. Yep. Wow. And she's got railing. And a, is that called a knee board? Is that what that would be a called? A knee wall. Or knee wall. Yep. Knee wall. Yeah. So I can go up here. So I can hunch over. Yep. And I'm still walking. In here. Oh my gosh, all this knotted wood looking so pretty. Look back this way. Oh, she's got that fan. You see how this fan yep. doesn't hit your head? Out of the way. You got it because it was done right. right here too. Yeah. That's the case if you want to put a door, you put that fan and it blows air and circulates the air. Yeah. Okay. And oh, she has a, a, a latch. Yeah, where's that at? Right there. What's this for? A door? No, stop it. My God. My Look at, I want to show you. See how this trim It's thicker here and it had to go to nothing here? Yes. To accommodate this door so the door's straight. Wow. Let's go this way. Hold on. I love these big windows like this. Wow. Back through here, there's yep. the fan. There's downstairs. And another loft over there. And here's the other loft. God, the Amanda. fan does not hit you. Hey, There's the mini let's see how, let's see, hey. Ooh, it's cold in here. We show, just turned this on. Show me walking so you can see. So right here, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the size of this. There's a bookcase. All right. So I'm, I'm a really tall person, okay? Why do you keep going with that? Because I'm, I'm perspective. And you oh, got tired of my Is you're perspective or dreaming? Dreaming. Okay. Perspective dreaming. Perspective dreaming. Okay, this and then... There we go. There you go. So I think it's 92 inches across. 92 inches across. Yep. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Ace, what do you think, buddy? Let me tell you something. You sleep up here, you're going to have a hot or cold spot. That's for sure. Yes. Nice. This is really. Oh, this is really Look pretty. how clean this It's so different. Here. Super I custom. Know. I love it. All okay. the wood. See how clean the wood looks and everything? Yeah. This is cool. I'm right. turning into a, an orb. <laughs> what is it? A, an, an, an ogre. Oh. An ogre. Let me go walk over his body. Oh my gosh. It's a <laughs> tiny house. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the kids wouldn't have a ball up here. Oh my God. I'd, I'd keep them up here all the time. Oh my God. I'd never let them downstairs throw food up there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at that. How pretty that sanded off looks nice. Okay. Yep. This is cool. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Ace? Don't chew on her walls, on her posts. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. I know it. Nicole. Really nice. Well, we didn't know that we were going to show a house today on Q&A Wednesday. I know it. Let's so see. this was a nice little surprise. And he's got to do a, some pull-ups. Done. I haven't done that in a long time. I know. Well, we need to do it this way so they can have a real pretty view. Of, oh, the, the uh, house. 
You don't no want to set it here going that way? Well, it's got oil on it. Hey. Uh, so we'll it set it right here? here. Yes. Go that way? Okay, so we'll be right back. Is that the view or that the view? Uh, the, the, mm. Okay, set it right here. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back. He goes, no way. When I tell what you just said, you can't I do don't want to say that in front of the world. Oh, never mind. He don't want to say in front of the world. No, that's... Oh, and we're sharing a microphone, so we might already sit it right here. <clears throat> well, I don't know. We ought to be fine. You think it'd be fine? Every week, this hair, okay? Your hair? Look, it looks beautiful. Like, spray it. That's what Randy used to say. My hair would be all over my head. He'd say, spray it. Yep, I love messed up hair. It's all messed up. I love messed up hair. Well, good. Well, how are you supposed to see? I don't care if you see. <laughs> you just need to look good. That's it. All right, here we go. We're at Q&A, and whose home is this? Um, I guess mm, I can, Mahondro. Mahondro. Mm -hmm, Miss Mahondro. And nope. I don't even know what size it is, but it's a Craftsman. I eight it's foot it. wide. I believe it's eight by twenty-four. Eight by twenty-four. Yeah, you we're got gonna it. go with that. I said eight by twenty-six at first. He went no. All right, so this is all pre-recorded. Whatever I say, probably gonna be edited. Man, we'll, we'll be cut it out. Against, we'll be held against me. <laughs> Everything he says is held against him, uh, so we don't, he's used to yeah. it. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. So, um, you guys know I always try to try to fill you in with a lot of what's going on on in here. But also, I don't fill you in with a lot of stuff that's just trivial. Um, that's well, you're Careful. gonna, gonna edit it. Hold on. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is there are gonna be uh, uh, people tell me said Randy, you can't please everybody. Well, that's true. And they said don't concentrate on people you can't please. We get massive amounts of amazing yeah. compliments. We get and, amazing. And and I was like. It's just so, and you know what? The compliments encourage me because I'm hard on myself. You Tom are. and I both. If we have one customer that's complaining, it it destroys our entire day and everything. It just doesn't. It doesn't. We want everybody to be, but it's been hard because of the yeah. the longevity of building the homes. We're almost mm -hmm. to that point. We're getting we're them all done. So close. Well, you know what? Yeah. We just talked about that. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, and we've had. Listen, we have had. We have started this whole rental, right? And we started it standing out there in the woods and saying, hey, if anybody wants to live here, come on and live here. Yeah. And, and in my mind, right, mm -hmm. people come here and live. Yeah, you just And, come and you live. gave us $6,000 and you're going to stay for two years for free. It's pre-rent. And I would pay back. It was pre-rent. Yeah. And then you, the third year, and then and every year after that, we just renew the lease, right? But we paid it back 100%. I never dreamed that people would stay here for two years and still want $6,000. I or know. stay here for well, a year and true. want six thousand. Yeah, true. Or stay here for six months and had an extra lot and then auction off their lot and make who knows how much money. And I never dreamed people would do that. Yeah. Or they would want to make money off of what we started. In my head, I was just like, I just want to help everybody. Yeah. Just get me the, the amount of money that uh, that I could. You're going to help me, and I'm going to help you. Right. I'm going to mm -hmm. pay you back by giving you free rent for two years by your mm -hmm. six thousand. I put in the water, power, and sewer, yep. and the roads, and everything. Which costs more than that to do. It costs a lot more. <laughs> and then they turn around and want to sell them and make money. Yeah. And I'm just, I, so I'm, I'm good with that. But the thing is, is I didn't expect it. I'm not good with it because, all right, we didn't have a full set. We'd never done it before. So we didn't have all these 15 pages of rules and regulations. Right. And I hate doing that kind of stuff. Oh, we hate. I like doing a handshake and let's agree and let's go. If you get sick or if you have to leave and something happens to you and you can't be here, we work with you. Yeah. But to turn around and make, just manipulate and twist and turn. We put the post office up over here. Yeah. I got a, con I got a container. We got about $25,000 in this post office, right? I didn't have to have a post office. That is true. Yeah. We could have made everybody go down to the to the uh, the post office the, in town yeah. and use a PO box. Mm -hmm. But we built this thing, and we had everybody just hey, give us a hundred bucks and we'll buy you a box because that's right. what it costs to buy the mm -hmm. boxes. But somebody complained about us putting the the addresses on there that we a, a lack of privacy and some other stuff, and I'm like. Man, I just can't think of everything that would just be wrong. Now I think we're I going just, down a rabbit hole. So let's let's. Do we need to it. edit this? We're gonna. We're not gonna say. I just. What, I know what you're saying. I know, but let me. Let's. I hope. I don't know if she's gonna edit this or not. But I just. And I'm gonna. And I'm positive. And I like doing what I do. And I like having fun. And I. And I. I enjoy. God, building and weed eating and building roads. I like I doing this stuff. I know. I know. And it's just. I am just. Sometimes I, I think. 
I'm just too sensitive about stuff. Well, you know? I don't. I don't think it's sensitive though. What I, is it? Well, I think it's just that it's a just a bomb. You just number one, you weren't expecting it. Yeah. You weren't. You weren't expecting uh, to people to act and and bring up the things that they did. It hit us. It blindsided us. Like, are you serious? Like, uh, really? And it's like, how come? How come you're not focusing on something Pointing like out everything we do? is wrong? Pointing out tiny, every little things, and we're talking. People do have valid concerns. They have valid concerns yeah. about. Stuff. I don't. Just, I, I hate disappointing anybody. And it makes me right. feel like I didn't do it enough to keep that from happening. Right. I, I I understand there's complaints and all this stuff. I just want to work it out. Mm -hmm. I just want to work things out. Right. Nothing is going to be perfect. Nothing is ever going to, not even the most beautiful customs homes in the world will never be perfect. Right. You have to work things out. Mm -hmm. I met a general contractor when I first started building 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Every single house he lost 10 to 20 grand. Wow. They would never pay him in the end. Yeah. And he ended up overbuilding all the time and they would never pay him all the money and he was always in court. Yeah. They're always in court. And I'm, I said, I'd never get into custom building. I know. You know, not be, because well, of that reason right Well, there. we even have a guy who works here now. And some of the other guys have worked. Oh, they won't, they nothing, won't work? Nothing yeah. like him. He's like, I will never, ever, ever do another custom He said, job. you can do all that, Randy. He said, you can do all that. I just want to work. Yep. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I'm this person that cannot remember pain. So I just keep going through it and going yeah. through it. But at the same time, this is why... All this has evolved about the Incredibox, about the mm -hmm. models, because I want to please people. I want them to get a beautiful home. Right. And so I thought, you know what? Let's combine all the beautiful things that we've done yeah. here, right? Oh, yeah. In a home. Those model homes, Amanda, they're mm -hmm. going to have a lot of these amenities. Oh, yeah. And more. Mm -hmm. But there are designs. The model homes are, I've only seen his sketches, and I've known... I've, you know, like I said, known him for 20 years. I know how he's thinking about the building. I know the houses that we actually looked at online, the ones in California, these craftsman homes and all these big long, uh, the overhangs and all this kind of yeah. stuff, the corbels and all that kind of stuff. You, you're just, they are going to be absolutely stunning. And yeah. they are, you are going to think you have, a, well, you are going to have a custom home. It's just not going to be your design. Yeah. But you are going to get over what? you thought you were going to get. Uh, yeah. You're going to get over we, more. Tom Tom said it today. He said, man, he goes, you know what? I just want people to be happy with what we do. You just want them to be happy. That's just what we do. Yes. The money is not mm -hmm. is our, not our carrot. I know you no. guys don't believe that. People don't believe but it. we're builders. We're carpenters. Mm -hmm. And we like, it's like you guys building something and you give it to somebody like, hey, do you yes. like what we did? Mm -hmm. You know? You want to be proud. You want to be like, oh my God, they, they love it. They show other people and they're just so proud. And what makes it uh, tough too is that people live here, so you know we have to pass by and we got we have to see people. So yeah. we want them to not be mad at us or be upset, right. or something. We don't want any hard feelings about anything. It's a community. We yeah. want everybody to get along. We so do. yeah. So on yeah. that note, and I'm mm -hmm. going to stop there because I always tell you guys. I used to come on by myself when you were gone. Man, we do live shows, right. and I would tell you how I felt about things, and I'd had some pretty hard, rough, and you know rough at times oh, sure. of dealing with business and um, we backed off on all that stuff. There's no reason to bring a lot of negativity yeah. to anything mm -hmm. and man, I'm like, it, it video, I mean, she may edit all that out of there. I don't know if she will or not, but it's, I think people want to see the real reality of what we do mm -hmm. and how we feel and what we're doing things. Yeah. But at the same time, there's a limit of how much you need to share because everybody's got crap that they deal with. Everybody's right. got they got to deal with the public or they got to deal with other things, you know, that, yeah. that have to go on. My thing is, I see it as a challenge and this is crazy, but I think every time I have a encounter with someone or yeah. a, a, a thing that goes wrong, I always look at me and I think, what did I do wrong? What did I, what did I do that I could have prevented that? Right. You know, and, and so I learned from it. And so I try to implement it in a contract and blueprints or something that I'm doing, or I won't even do that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what we're, that is why we have, we have stopped all of our custom homes that we've got into model homes to alleviate any, any arguments, any misconceptions, yeah. any misunderstandings, well, and, all and, that. Well, and two, going along with that is that, you know, we want the turnaround to be way quicker. So yeah. you can't be quicker if you don't do something redundant, like over yeah. and over. So with these guys getting used to these model homes and stuff, they are going to be. They're going to be able to do a Austin faster, a Charleston faster, a Birmingham faster. Faster, you're man. going to get your homes quicker, and you are just going to be surprised. We're about to get the new. We're just about to get the models. Some of the models coming out. You're going to be getting more 
than what you think. Yeah. You're going to be super well, surprised. Our, our ESP, yes. we, have, we have switched over. If you had ordered an ESP, we've yeah. asked you if you wanted to have a model home. Yeah. Model homes are way more expensive than your ESP. And I know a lot of people got ESPs because it was a great price. Sure. So we're flipping them over. We're going to spend more money on your home, yeah. but we're going to eat the. We're going to eat that. Yeah. Not going to cost you a dime. We want you to get your homes. So yeah. And now some people said, "Hey, I want my ESP anyway." Totally and understand. They can they and we're going to do that wait. too. Yeah. So, but we can get your model home out quicker. Um, if you want. Because it was the majority that picked a model home. Mm -hmm. They said, "Okay, I'll switch over. No big deal." And yeah. they'll get their home faster. But the people that said, "Hey, I can wait, and I want to wait for an ESP," that's fine too. Yep. We got yeah. people waiting on the mountain. That's yeah. going to be another six months mm -hmm. or so. We can get over there. So. Right. All right. <laughs> and I just want to say, we did this show last week uh, on Thursday. We didn't do it on Wednesday. We did it on Thursday. It poured the rain. It came down harder than oh, I had seen. Gosh. That was terrible. Then uh, since we were at Inca, I guess. And I mean, it was pouring. You saw everything. It was, everything was wet. So it's about to come storm today. Yeah. About a week later. Never done rain again like that. Yeah. Oh, no. We're going to run through these questionnaires. Yeah. I uh, thank you guys. Look, all the pages that we oh have. Oh, my God. All I don't know how we're going to. We wasted I mean, half the show, though. Well, not wasted. I say wasted. We wanted to show you this show right here. We wanted to show you this house right here. Custom house going into the uh, the forest. It's just gorgeous. Love the blue. Love all the custom stuff that she did. And I'm sure she's excited to, to be here soon. We, Amanda, you know. People's walking outside. We never just talk to the people and I, sometimes I want to call everybody in this whole entire community yeah. to get together and let's talk. Mm -hmm. And and I just, you know, I never get to see anybody because we're always working, we're always going. I know. And, um, and the negative always rules and it, I hate that, you know, mm -hmm. because there's so many good things that are happening. Yeah. And and in, like I've always said, you know, we're, we're building a, a a commodity, we're building something yeah. and whenever you build something you have liability and you also have um, the threat of, of something going wrong with that or being oh, damaged sure. or something not going to be completely perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be, and in my mind, I want it to be perfect every single time. Yeah. And I want you guys to be happy. I want you to love your home. Yeah. I want the Incredibox to be spot on. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we had made a decision in the Incredibox to eliminate, not to eliminate, but eliminate the, uh, the power inside the toilet, down below the toilet for a compost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We eliminated that because Tom was saying, Randy, all it takes is that little bitty cord on a compost and plug it in. We could go either through the floor, okay. drill it through the floor, mm -hmm. or they can plug it where the refrigerator was. Right. And somebody said, hey, you said, you promised that we would have a plug in the bathroom. And I, I didn't say we removed the plug mm -hmm. and I didn't make provisions for it. Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to streamline it. What could we cut out? We knew that most people aren't even going to have a compost. Well, one of the things know? that we had said, and maybe we, you know, and I think it's in the contract, but these homes, the credit boxes, it was by what you decided. So if we made changes, because we told everybody in advance, hey, we might make changes on it and things like that. So yeah. uh, it ain't going to be nothing major, but it would be something that would benefit the house. And um, so we actually did say that we were allowed to, to do changes yeah. and, on the credit box. And you know why? And I know that's tough. I want to... All right, I'm real creative. I yeah. like to just do stuff. Mm -hmm. And I like to add, and like we we raised the water heater, put a wall in there, mm -hmm. and didn't charge the price. Didn't range the price I know. up. If, if we get in there and we see that, you know, there's complaints and there's more stuff, I mean, then it's going to cause the price to go up. Right. You know? And we don't want the price I to go up. I like the freedom to be able to make things happen. Yeah. But I know people are expecting mm -hmm. something I say. If I say it's going to be there, hey, where's it at? You know, right. so if we do make a change, I need, I don't know. I mean, I like the freedom to say, hey, go. What a deal at 20 grand. I know. This guy come in today and he, he actually said that. He went, come on, 20 grand. Yeah. Yeah. They bought, they bought, are you, are you well, kidding it's one me? earlier. They bought two. Yeah. And I'd say they're probably hooking up to their other one right now. Yeah. Yeah. 20 grand. So, so if there's not a plug or something there, or, you know, a screw missing or something here, just for details. That's what this is supposed to be. Yeah. It's, it's a DIY for you guys to, to take it and run with it and try to implement your right. ideas and your decoratings and stuff. Yeah. It's going to keep you dry, warm, safe, and it's going to be a... a it, I live in one. You know? I know. I almost feel like we should do a Q&A tomorrow. Only reason why we're not going to be able to go through... There's, there's 14 pages. Really? 14. And we got a surprise tomorrow, too. We got... 
What's this, our surprise? This has been a... Hey, hey, what's our surprise? I'm not going to tell you what the surprise is. I wonder if I should say it. I'm not going to say it. No, but there is a surprise tomorrow. So I've got a surprise for everybody. Um, so either we get going on these or... Well, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. All right, let's do this. Hang on. Okay.